Hello and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain and I'm your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our seven day week, seven minutes of wisdom podcast. This is day 222 of our trek and yesterday we continued on a new and exciting trek that we are calling Your Life Plain Blueprint. The purpose of Wisdom Trek is to gain wisdom through our daily life trek and then create a living legacy each day. If you're going to be successful in creating a legacy, establishing a plan for your life is imperative. With a solid life plan in place, you will be able to create and live your legacy today and then leave a positive impact on your world tomorrow. There are no factors that will prevent you from creating a well-established life plan for your life. Your life plan doesn't have to change the world, but it should positively impact your world and yourself. It is my goal and plan to provide you with the information and tools needed to create an ongoing life plan for your life. Just as with our Trek of Life, we are making continual adjustments to our plan, but our primary focus is fixed. If you do miss any of the days of our Wisdom Trek episodes, please go to wisdom-trek.com to listen to them and to read the daily journal. We are recording our podcast from our studios at home, too, in Charlotte, North Carolina. As this first week of 2016 is nearing an end, we're looking forward to our family Christmas celebration on Friday night and Saturday. With family job changes, a new grandchild, and other financial obligations, our children decided to forego gift exchanges this year, except for a few for the grandchildren. Instead, we are just focusing on a time of celebration together and the true meaning of the Christmas season. We are very pleased with this decision and are looking forward to a time together with our children and our grandchildren. Let's head out on our trail for day three of the Wisdom Trek Life Plan, which we refer to as your Life Plan Blueprint. I mentioned yesterday that there are six essential reasons that we should set goals and create a life plan. We explored the first two reasons yesterday, which were to give clarity to your end vision and to drive you forward even when you face obstacles. If we are going to go through the process of creating a life plan, we need the wisdom to create an easy and tangible way of establishing the plan. We need a clear strategy for our plan, to define the tasks that make up our plan, steps to execution of those plans, and then a means of review to ensure that the plan has been completed properly and in a timely manner. This is why I refer to your life plan as a blueprint. The Wisdom Trek Life Plan Blueprint provides everything that you will need to ensure that the end results meet your original design. Today we'll explore the next two essential reasons why setting goals and plans are so important for creating a successful life plan. So our third essential reason is to give you laser focus. Goals give you a single focal point to focus your attention. Whereas your purpose gives you a broad, directional focus to move in your life, goals give you a laser focus on what exactly to spend your time and energy on. Think of your time, energy, and efforts as input, and then the results as your output. The goals act like a funnel that will guide and direct all those inputs effectively into your desired outputs or results. When you don't have goals tied to an overall plan, you are bouncing from one activity to another. These activities may have become urgent due to our neglect, but they are seldom important in your overall life plan. These are activities that play no role in your larger scope of life, but you may not even be aware of this because you are just living life as it is. You end up mislabeling a lot of urgent or even nice to do activities as important. You may also be engaging in these activities because you can't think of any better way to spend your time. Do you find yourself surfing the internet, constantly visiting social media sites, or checking your email excessively? Do you consider yourself a workaholic, but at the end of the day you're not sure what you accomplished for that day? What is your objective for what you do each day? What is the end result of your activities? Is that the top priority for your life? You may have a broad idea of what you want to do, but until you clearly articulate a specific goal tied to a plan, you are not focusing your efforts properly. You often find yourself getting sidetracked because you don't have any goals to rein you in. It's really quite easy to end up in the ruts of everyday life, simply because they are so familiar and comfortable, and there are so many other things to distract your attention. You may try to convince yourself that you are moving in the direction that you want, but it's just an illusion that you are having. With no goals tied to an overall plan, you really have no focus for your life, and without this focus, your efforts are scattered in too many places to have meaningful results. When you do set goals as part of your overall life plan, it gives you focus, even as the Apostle Paul taught his student Timothy in his first letter to him, chapter 4, verse 15. And he instructed Timothy, Give your complete attention, or focus, to these matters. 
Throw yourself into your tasks so that everyone will see your progress. So this is an age-old issue that we face, but one that we should address also. And next we'll look at the fourth essential reason for setting goals and a life plan, and it's to make you accountable. Having goals integrated into your overall life plan makes you accountable. Rather than just talking about what you want all the time and then not doing anything concrete about them, you are now obligated to take action. Setting a specific goal gives you clarity on whether you are living up to what you committed yourself to do when you first set your goal. The accountability is accountability to yourself, not anyone else. For an example, this accountability is what you hold yourself up to when you choose a healthy salad over a piece of greasy fried chicken. It is the answer that you give yourself when you spend an hour working on your report rather than random web surfing. When you stay accountable to your goals, you are in fact staying true to your core desires. A tangible example of this for me was creating and publishing this Wisdom Trek podcast in journals every day. It is a goal that I hold myself accountable to, which requires clarity and focus. When I decided to launch Wisdom Trek, I did so with a commitment to a daily podcast. I made myself accountable for delivering it. If I find myself wanting to stop or skip a few days, which happens at times, I make the necessary mind shift to turn the situation around. I attempt to put aside all the time-wasting activities that are so easy to get caught up in. It is easy to convince ourselves that we are accomplishing what we are supposed to do and meeting our obligations, especially if we have nothing to measure it against. Once we set goals as part of our life plan, then we become accountable to ourselves to complete them. Ultimately, we are also accountable to God for how we invest this precious time, talent, and treasure that He's given each of us to manage. As is mentioned in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 13, which tells us, Nothing in all creation is hidden from God. Everything is naked and exposed before His eyes. And He is the one to whom we are accountable. We have now explored four of the six essential reasons to create goals as part of your overall life plan. As we explore the process of our life plan blueprint, we will start to see why the Wisdom Trek process is unique and successful when many other goal-setting plans fail. This process dovetails into our concept of Wisdom Trek with the understanding that life and life planning at times is difficult, and there are many unforeseen circumstances that happen. Even with those times, we can create and follow a life plan blueprint that will keep us on the right trail. Tomorrow we will explore the final two essential reasons to create a life plan blueprint. So encourage your family and friends to join us and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. That will finish our podcast for today. Remember to listen to your daily dose of wisdom each day at wisdom-trek.com or subscribe at iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, Stitcher, or any of the other social media platforms. And please share Wisdom Trek with your family and friends through email, Facebook, Twitter, or in person and invite them to come along with us each day. The journal for today's trek can be found at wisdom-trek.com. Thank you for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I do consider you my friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. As we take this trek together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.